Samoa so got off to a slow start against Chile. My name is Mark, let's talk rugby. Lele Fano gets Samoa off the mark with a penalty from just in front, 3-0 to them, early doors. Chile then come forward, have some great feet from Fernandez, get some close. They work it up to the line then, they have penalty advantage. Ditos drives over to score. The guy's just a barrel of a man and there was just no stopping him from that distance. We then have a Timo check for a dangerous tackle off the ball from Sautini. He gets a yellow card and that goes to the bunker for a review. Videla converts from out wide at 7-3 and Chile lead. Sautini's yellow then we hear is going to stay yellow. I think that was um, the right decision. It was just, you know, um, tackle off the ball and there was no head contact involved. Lele Fano then cuts the lead to one from the tee after another penalty, 7-6. Martinez gets himself pinged for being off his feet at the Rook and it's another kickable penalty to Samoa. Lele Afano then puts Samoa back in front, 9-7. And you see you know, Samoa, they're taking the three points because, you know, they, they, at the moment, like Chile, you really are in the game. They then win a free kick at a scrum. Al Alatoa opts to scrum again and then they win a penalty. But then the referee, Paul Williams, has a chat with Angus Gardner, who's running the line. And actually, it was what happened was Ditta slipped due to the turf coming up. So we reset the scrum, and that's after the Simone front row were doing a bit of a gardening, um, replacing the turf there. It just came up in a big clump. From here then, Chile's aggressive defense is causing some more problems as, you know, they're looking to spread the ball, but Chile's, um, they're off the line very quickly and it means that, you know, putting pressure on the pass and the, some of the pass going forward. We then have um, Videla, he gets his head on the wrong side in the tackle and he has to go off for an HIA and he ends up knocked being able to come back on. Yeah, it looked like it was, you know, a uh, very heavy hit that he got, but, you know, it was just poor tackle technique on his part. Samoa then win a genuine penalty at the scrum as we restart. And Samoa, for most of the game, they're on top in the scrum. They work the ball into 22. First, they go with one out carries, making some impact, but Chile not really stretched in defence. They then go out to the backs. It's looking though pedestrian. And Sarutini puts in just a dreadful kick and the move breaks down. Chile, they go quickly from a penalty and almost break the line with Saavedra. And it was it was one of these where, you know, if he holds onto the ball, there, there may be about 10 metres out from the line, but if he holds onto, onto the ball and goes through that gap, he's in under the post to score, and it could have been their second try. But they do win another penalty in the 22, and Garfulik, he kicks it and puts them back ahead, 10-9 from the tee. Samoa then have a chance from a five-meter line-out, but they're sloppy and the ball goes to ground. And, you know, for most of that first half, it was a case of Samoa just looking very rusty. Huete gets pinged, though, for offside around the 10-meter line, and Samoa up for another shot at the post. Leila Afano slots it for 12-10, and the lead changes hands again. Samoa, you know, we're coming up to half time. They score a try out of nowhere. They have a scrum just inside their own half, right about their own 10 meter line. They spread it from there. There's a lovely kick in behind from Manu. They get to the ball first. They go three on one, and Sautini goes over in the corner to score. Leila Lefano adds on the extras, and it's 19 10 at half time. Chile then. Now, they looked more composed and dangerous with ball in hand in that first half, but it was just one quality move from Samoa, and suddenly they have a nine-point lead. 
in the second half Samoa strike again you know pretty early on we have a lovely wraparound play McFarlane then he gets close and kind of offloads up in the air and Taumateni he kind of dives over and kind of collects the ball and goes over to score. Lele Alefano misses the conversion. It's 24-10 and Samoa beginning to take control of the game. They then win a penalty, decide to go to the corner. They set up another good mall. Some of the backs come in to help and they drive over. Fritz Lee is the scorer. Lele Alefano hits the post with the conversion attempt. It's 29-10. Chile get a team warning then for number of penalties they're conceding close to their own line. Samoa really upping the pressure. Samoa then drive over again. Malolo is the scorer this time. Lele Afano tags on the extras. It's 36-10 and Samoa are looking comfortable now and the bonus point is in the bag. We have a TMO check for a tackle from Escobar as he hits high he gets a yellow goes to the bunker for review i'm thinking at the time probably just a yellow we then have another tmo check as there's basically a lower limb cleared out by anari he gets a yellow it goes to the bunker for review on field officials didn't seem to be in complete agreement about you know what the situation was but you know um we find out shortly after that the escobar's yellow stays the yellow both teams at 14 for the moment Samoa they seem to have lost a bit of that zip that they started the half with the game really is you know very choppy at this stage Anari's yellow also is going to stay a yellow we hear Chile they win a penalty in the Samoa 22 Samoa basically just tried to walk the scrum around Chile kicked to the corner they go to the mall, they're going forward, but then McFarlane, he gets in there and Samoa make it unplayable and turn it over. Samoa then, they're playing with penalty advantage. Saavedra just folds Lele Afano in half with a crunching tackle, but we come back for the penalty and Inostroza, he gets himself a yellow card. He came on less than a minute before this, and I don't think he, I'm not sure even if he managed to come back on at the end of the game or not, because, you know, there wasn't, there was less than 10 minutes left, I think, when he got his yellow. But Chile down to 13 then. Samoa, they go to the corner, but they get pinged for basically this one where players are moving around the lineup, they're actually coming out, so they get pinged for that. Chile then win a penalty for a tackle off the ball. They kick it into 22. They secure the line out and they set up the mall. They have to spread it though because Samoa are getting in there and disrupting it. But as they're moving the ball, they're just going backwards and then Samoa win a penalty. Samoa then have time for a final flourish. You know, it looked like the game was peering out, but they up the tempo again in the last couple of minutes they find some space Malolo looked like he got over the score but then Timo check shows that he actually lost the ball just short of the line and then you know regathered it and placed it down but it was no try but we come back for a Samoan penalty advantage they kick to the corner Maul they go over and Malolo does get his score and a second try Sapoanga converts this one, final score is 43-10. So, you know, that second half, I thought the first half, again, it was going to be such a great game. And then that second half, just, just so stop and start. And it was really hard to kind of get any momentum from either team. Samoa, they were rusty in the first half. They found a bit of rhythm, though, either side of the halftime break but then took their foot off the gas once the game was won and then you know all of those stoppages as well kind of just sucked the life out of the game Leila Fano was excellent at 10 and I think they're going to be better the next time out Chile really made a game of it for most of that first half but couldn't take chances that they were making once Samoa started to stretch away you know, it turned into them just trying to get another score in the second half. 
Set piece really didn't help them. They were second best in the scrum. The lineup was an absolute mess. But they show, you know, so much potential. And again, you think, you know, what might what they might be like if they had more support. But Samoa, they're going to be happy with this win to start off the campaign. It's a bonus point win to boot.